Welcome to the POV Podcast, a podcast where we talk about basically anything, especially e fading. <laughs> if you saw my recent upload that has the same format, the same POV format, that's just a little thought. Like that one is just me thinking and basically s- spilling how I feel right now. Like, I got nothing against Fire Pro Online or anybody. I got nothing against them. They do their thing, they do their thing. I don't really care. But the reason why I did that video is because I was befuzzled. I was somewhat confused. And I just need to let it out. Because I can't just hold it in a lot. Because the thing is, I don't like holding my stuff back. Like holding what I want to say back. Even though sometimes I do that. For good reasons. But for something like that in the EFE, it will bother me a little bit. So I have to release it. What better way to release it in a um, helpful and somewhat controversial way? I say controversial because I know I'm going to get a lot of hate sooner or later. Just because I talk about a match that I say was... It was, what's that word? Damn it. Oh, shit. Forgot the word. God, I was saying it. I was saying it a lot. Oh, yeah. Underwhelming. Yeah. Basically, it was just me talking about how the the main event of Showdown was underwhelming and basically me kind of shitting on it, but same time kind of not shitting on it. Either way, I'm just giving my fair criticism. And if you want me to do more of those criticisms, like, of a match or of anything, I I could do that for y'all. I need more content on this damn channel instead of people waiting for Thursday just to get a turbo. But, yeah. So, I feel like talking. Like, just ramble and talk. You know, have a conversation with y'all. And I want to talk about... What makes a match good? Like, what makes a wrestling match that good? It's probably going to be a short answer for me, from me, because I usually want to explain things, but sometimes I don't want to explain things. So, yeah. To to my opinion, a, to make a good match is about storytelling. It's about the facial expression. It's about the emotion. It's about the commentary telling a story. Something engaging with the audience. Like, this this is probably just me. Wrestling is like an art form. Wrestling is an art form. Because even though in professional wrestling, it is choreography, which is a type of art of dancing or something. But at the same time, this wrestling, Ife wrestling, is also, is also an art. But they're not using real people. It's not real. It's just a video game. Shut the fuck up. Let me let me explain, okay? When it comes down to e fetting and, and e fed wrestling and trying to get a good matches out of it, you it's the art. Like the match can be good in your eyes and it could be bad in my eyes and shit because we have two different tastes of art. Some of these feds out there, especially 2K feds or Fire Pro feds, or well, you won't. Well, you're gonna be shocked when I say this shit. A WCW NWO Revenge fed or No Mercy fed or something. Any type of fed, they share their way of art. I just like Fire Pro more than that because Fire Pro is, you know, it's more realistic. But that's just me. But it, but the thing is, the matches, the matches are just, they could be beautiful. They could tell a story. They could give you emotions. One more example, CR Fire Pro. Plush wins her first junior championship. That was a story because it built up from the, from the ground up. People wanted her to win a title. She, people wanted her to win the big one, and then she did. That's a story right there. 
something that I'm into. When it, like, sometimes now the feds, they don't do promos. They just don't do promos in the show. They do promos outside the show, like a role play or a Discord role play, whatever the hell people use. Or for, or for the dumbest reason why they use Twitter group chat just to start beefs and fuse and shit. Which I do not like because it's too clusterfuck. But other than that, it's just like... You're making a good wrestling match. In my opinion, you got to tell a story. One, another example from the same damn fest, Sierra Fire Pro, is Life and Kaijin. Their feud. They had three, I think... Three encounters in a big event. Three to two encounters in a big event. Them face like each other. And then and a title hot potatoes. Even though even though I don't like when championships hot potato back and forth. That's not my thing. I don't like it like that. But for that reason, it literally tells a story. Because they do have beef. In their final match, the winner keeps the title. The loser goes down all the way down in the ranks. And they got to climb back up just to get the rank back. It's a story, my guy. CWF. They tell stories their way. By promos. By interference. The commentators. Sometimes. Because, you know, the commentators can go, like, beefing with each other, which is funny as hell. Bruiser and motherfucking W. Stevens. The best commentary team of all professional wrestling. In e fitting <laughs> The best. They go back and forth like fucking children. Anyways. Damn it, the fucking helicopters. But, like, I'm sorry. I need to get a swear jar, my guy. Like, I really do need a swear jar. But, um... A wrestling match... Like I said, is an art form. The story of the match is key. To a feud or to a rivalry. A feud is when you go against somebody. A rivalry is like... It, it, it could be a friendly rivalry or it could be a hostile rivalry. Like, to, to explain that, a rivalry is like you want to get even. A feud is when you hate somebody. The thing is, some of these feds don't do that. I'm not going to say what Fed does, doesn't do that because I'm not that type of guy. Even though I may shoot a little bit. Like, you know, you know, throw a little jab here or there, but, you know, that's just me. Just for funs. You know, just for shits and giggles, that's all. But, like, some of these Feds don't really tell stories anymore. It's all about the match. You can, you can, you can make a sport. Like, I don't mind that, but sometimes sports do tell stories. Football, for example. You have a rivalry team. They they beat they beat each other to the you know to the point that they're even, and now they want one one more game to like in to end the feud off, to end the rivalry off. Matter of fact, you know just life too. You know what I'm saying, but like you could be sports orientated and still tell a story. I'm not saying all fans gotta tell a story, but I'm just saying you know just my opinion. This is my opinion, okay? It's my point of view. But I really want to legitimately start doing some more stuff with this. Because the thing is, I want to tell a story. I want to tell it in art. I want to give you my 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 beautiful art form called professional wrestling. Cause, because professional wrestling is fun. So Another thing I want to basically say is that, like, for everybody, like, this is going to be just out of topic, but for, for everybody who's using mods for Fire Pro, get a um, USB flash drive or a terabyte drive, which I got, like, a, a four to two terabyte, you know, USB drive, and I saved, and, and I backed up my um, Fire Pro, like, all the save data and shit. 
because I because you can get corrupted by using mods. That's your risk, and I accept the risk with using a less fewer mods, so it so it'd be less likely to corrupt. But yeah, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this like to to like the folder to back up your um your game. Is let me see if I find it. No, not that's an RPG Maker joint. It's in app data locale. Well, first of all, it's user, then app data, then locale, and then there's gonna be a little thing that says Fire Pro. I mean, not Fire Pro, Spunk Chunts Off. Motherfucker, I want you to legit copy that folder because that has, has all your save data. And put it in your flash drive. You don't have to move it. Just copy it. And put it in your flash drive. So in case. We'll do that often. Like like every new character. Every five or ten new characters. Just put it in your flash drive. Just so that your characters won't be corrupted. And you go, and you have to remake the whole damn roster all over again. Which my dumbass happened to have to do that like a few times. Anywho. Back to my podcast. You know, I've been thinking about a lot of things with the e-fedding community and life in general. If it wasn't for me joining the e-fed community or even f- or founding or finding it, I wouldn't meet no. I wouldn't meet cool ass motherfuckers, bro. Cool ass people, bro. Like, there's a lot of cool people out there that's cool as hell, chill. And sometimes you got people who could be dicks. At the end of the day, cool people rules over the dicks. <laughs> like the thing is, you can get it. Like the more you do this, the more creativity you're co- you're coming out of you. Like, f- like I li- like I li- literally love doing this w- for YouTube. I love doing efeds. And like without people motivating me. To do like better episodes and better wrestlers, man, I wouldn't have learned about professional wrestling in general. Like, like I started e fedding after I learned about pro- professional wrestling. Then I started making my own feds on two K and shit, and then I decided to like stick with Fire Pro now. So yeah, the thing is, is that like I really love this game, not Fire Pro game, but the Efed game, because without Efeding, man, people would do some retarded shit. I don't know what they're gonna do, cause I'm not them. But hell, I know my sanity in making my own shows. Is going to be whack. So it's best to learn from people who is cool with you and shit and basically learn from them. Don't steal their shit, but, you know, just learn from them, you know. Anyways, I want to talk to you guys about Ground Zero now. Ground Zero is going to happen probably tomorrow. Or today, depending on what the fuck's going on with the feds. Because I'm still... Cause I legitimately was watching Fire Pro Online Showdown and and the, the like for my second time to get notes and my dumbass doing some other dumb shit. So I don't know if I'm gonna review Showdown or give you my thoughts about Showdown as a whole. Cause I give my thoughts about the main event in a separate video, but not my thoughts around the whole show. Cause I want to start reviewing more shows. I might review a um. A, there was this one show and they literally gave me the biggest what the fuck ever and I can't wait to tell you what the hell that thing was it was a um, let me see if I can find it cause they, cause they gave me the biggest WTF I've ever seen in my fucking life um I think it's the owner's room. No, it's in the staff room. 
All right, search for links. Where is it? Oh, there it is. WYW Immortal. That's their big show. Breaks the call record. This damn show breaks the call record with an eight hour event. Do you guys want me to review this show? A eight hour fucking show that is legitimately in I think 2K14. Like, holy shit, are you that fucking bored? <laughs> but I give you a fucking salute, my guy. On Lord Zeno. You know, Dragon Ball. I don't watch Dragon Ball, but, you know, I just, I just, I, I just like saying that because I, I find it funny. But on Lord Zeno himself, the Dragon Ball God... A eight hour event that should never hit that time. This is what I'm saying about length of shows, my guy. Well, now now, now I can talk about it. But length of a show should never be eight hours. Cause you are fucking mental. And but I give you credit where credit is due. Y'all some bitches literally put this whole shit together. Render it and upload it. You are a god, my guy. But nobody should ever hit eight hours. Unless it's a two-part show. Like like New Japan's Wrestle Kingdom. Day one, day two. Day one could be four hours. Day two could be four hours. I could, I could stomach that with, with a 2K show. Sometimes. Because I, I watch FAM. FAM... Good shit. Oh, these are 15. I feel dumb as hell now, I think. I think this is 15 on the Xbox or 60 or some shit. I don't know. Oh, well. Like the old, like, uh, old gen console, Xbox 360, probably. Or PS4. Or PS, not, not PS4, PS3. Whatever. Anyways, I don't, I, I don't hate long shows, but I really do not like them. Because they could drag you out throughout the whole fucking day. So if I end up reviewing this show sooner or later, God save my soul. Because I ain't trying to die having a stroke for marking the fuck out or literally dying because some of the matches are shit. I'm, I might watch. I might end up watching it. I might watch an, a four hours do my other shit, come back next day for another four hours, and then I'll be done. Let this be a lesson to everybody. Do, I don't care if you want to break the call record of, of a length of a show. Fuck that. Be considerate of people's sanity. Because <laughs> my sanity is fucked, and I really sometimes question me as a whole. Oh my god. I, I still can't believe this joint's eight hours, bro. I'm gonna give you a link. I'm gonna send the link to the damn show, matter of fact. Like, it's, cause, like, it's called WYW Immortal Full Omega Event Livestream. Originally aired January, March, April. April 27, 2019. And it got five likes and one dislike. Because probably because the show is too damn long, and it has 684 views, and it came out in fucking 2019. Oh, it came out in May. That's tough. But, like, I feel bad for everybody who has the sanity is low, because, you know, it's just some shit. But... And but I might end up watching it because I'm curious and I'm a curious cat and it's gonna kill me soon. Anyways, 
I want to talk to what's what's the next topic I want to talk about because I don't have no notes. I don't feel like making notes and shit. I just want to talk on my asshole and all that stuff. You know, just me talking. Have y'all guys ever thought about like Wrestling Cup Classic, WCC, and Fire Pro Online have a joint show, right? And the joint show was. Half of it was simulated, and the other half was PvP. I think they're the first ones that ever did that. Have a joint show like that. And credit to them, though. But the thing is... The match's quality is like, meh. To put on a quality match... I will not do PvP. <laughs> Because PvP is freaking... It's an ego trip. Like I said in my other video, it's a whole ego trip. That's what PvP is, a whole ego trip. People can, like, do PvP, and they can be so good at it, and they just be cocky as hell. But... I tried joining PvP fed, e, like, EOW, and I had to drop out of it because I'm not that committed to certain dates. And most of the stuff is on a freaking board, and I and, and I don't check boards like that, to be honest with you. So I can never join a board of EFED at all. But at the end of the day, they do their thing. They do, and I'm doing, and I'm doing my thing. So it's like, meh, whatever. Who cares? I just want to have fun and try new things, but I failed at it. Never know unless you try. I did try, it and I do not like it. <laughs> But for PvP Fire Pro Fed, that's unique and fucking like mental because I swear to God, somebody's at the fucking door. But like, in my honest opinion, a PvP Fire Pro Fed, sorry for the like, the, the low black, the low no sound because I'm listening. And see who's at the door and all that stuff. But I don't know. But like. Having a PvP Fire Pro Fed is cool. But a lot of matches going to be messy. Fire Pro is about timing. Fire Pro is about a little distance. And some things. It just won't click. They're doing it because they want to have fun. That's cool with me. I'm all down for that shit. But you got to know the limitations of the damn game. You hear me? What the fuck? <laughs> you got to know the limitations of the game and how the game works. Because y'all not professional, but y'all trying so hard to make it like a fucking fun show to watch, which I really give credit to. But the limitations of the game and how the game works with player, the matches might be messy. The matches might be bad. The matches can be good. But at the same time, it's just, it might not stick well. I'm not saying don't do PvP. What I'm saying is that learn the game. Know how it works. Because at the end of the day, this is your fit. You want to make it good? Or or you do want to just have fun? Do you want the views? Or, or you just want the enjoyment? Because at the end of the day, your shit, not mine. Your problem, not mine. If you want translation to everything I said, <laughs> let me give you a layman term. You do you, boo. You do you. But understand what the freak the game can do. Because sometimes this game can be very tricky just to do player versus player. Because you will miss a lot of freaking standing attacks. Standing strong attacks. If you stand strong attack a submission, you're going to look retarded. Jumping for no fucking reason and missing. You're going to look like a retard. Or like a little roll-up pin, you're going to look like a freaking moron. A 
a freaking retarded person. Damn, but that's kind of offensive. Let me let me not say that. But like, you, you just got to know that every distance of the of the attack hitboxes. Because remember, this is a two D point five game. I think a two D sprite in a three D environment, which is fucking cool. You just need to know the the spaces, the distance, the limitations. And I'll be honest with you. For Fire Pro Online, they do some good shit. I like the production. What I don't like is how the matches quality be. You can have match of the night all you want. That match can be good as hell. But it but after all the botches and fuckery, you, you're gonna think second. They're gonna think like, uh, this was meh. Uh, I don't know what to feel about this. But yeah. You see, I wanna help feds. I want to help feds, my guy, with anything they need. Well, not anything, because I want to to take to take care of my own shit, my own fed. And my and the game that me and the team working on and shit. And sometimes making music and shit. But I just want to give my two cents, my props, and basically my suggestions. And this is just for Fire Pro people. But if you want to tell a story, like do a little storyline and promo segments, just do it. If you can't do it, ask ask for some help. Like... At first, when I made my um press conference joint, I had to ask one of my friends to help me to, to make one for me. I feel bad for not using it, but, you know, shit happens. But the thing is, is just that people kind of scared to do promos or scared to ask help. Because they think that shit gonna be stupid, gonna be dumb, you're gonna sound retarded, you're gonna sound like you're fucking mental. Something wrong with your dome piece or some shit like that. And they don't know, and... I like voice promos, but same time I don't li like voice promos. Because it's gonna, cause the reason why I say I like voice promos is because it's different, and then like you can feel, the, feel and hear the emotion of that character. Versus text promos, you don't know what they're feeling. Unless you like see off Fire Pro had a little emoji joint, then that's um, then that's a little um, you know scapegoat. <laughs> but um, the problem with voice promos is that it would take a lot of more production time. If you're trying to hit a deadline, that's gonna be your downfall. And plus, you gotta ask people to do promos and get all this shit together and all that stuff. It's going to be a mess. That's why I said the text promos. Because text promos are more easier. But it comes with the price of not knowing how they feel. Not, 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 like you not feeling what they feel. You don't feel the emotion. You're just reading the shit. Unless you're like, unless you're a master of anime and shit. And fucking weeb. And you can read fucking words. And feel their emotions and shit. Then, you're, then you are definitely on the right path, my guy. But this is gonna be a challenge for everybody. I I might throw a challenge down. I want people to start making promos, not promo packages, because that's gonna take a lot of production time. I need to make a promo package for my show. I need to make an intro for my show. For fuck's sake, I'm fucking delaying that shit. But like, I want everybody, if they can or able to. For your show, I want you to do some promos. Unless your show is sports orientated and and promo doesn't matter, then I'll see then I then I'll see the reason why. But I want promos on your shows. I want to know how that person is without showing in the ring. I want to see that person mic skills. I want to see that person attitude or ruthless aggression. <laughs> 
But hey, that's just me. I like I like what I do, but sometimes I question myself too. I want to, you know, networks, right? You know, like Fed networks, like um, Call Insider or eFed Hub or 3TP, which I'm in. Those are cool because everybody's coming together and watching your show and give it criticism or this and that. The downfall is people can be dickheads. <laughs> like, I don't, like, I never experienced a dickhead network, but I just know for a fact that, like, sometimes they'll make a one big channel, put all the shows in that channel. That's going to take a lot of freaking stress and all that shit. You know what? Fuck the dickhead part. Networks, it's a lot of stress. But it comes, but it, but it, but it, it will worth a lot of that stress. Why? You got to finish product. You, you hit a deadline, right? You hit a deadline, right? You finish the product, right? You release the product. You release your 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 show, and now you get a lot of views on your show because it was that damn good. But what I don't like is tribalism. Sometimes networks or sponsors or some shit, whatever you want to make, they can. Like, damn, I had it and I forgot my, damn it, fuck. <sighs> all in all, networks are cool. Stress can be worth it because you hit the deadline. And sometimes networks can be a bad thing because the stress part, that's the thing. <laughs> like, you could be all stressed out because of damn deadlines. That I can't do deadlines. Since, since since I'm doing a weekly show on Thursdays, I have to pre-record my shit the week of. Because I'm trying some, some new things, all right? At first, I used to do tapings. And now, since people are joining my Fed and stuff like that, then it's going to be like you have to do it on the week of. Not only to get motivation, but also to, to like give you some little like push. Get their promos, put in the joint. And sometimes it's best to not spoil it too, which can be cool as shit. What's next, man? Let me check something. But yeah, mental people with the fucking eight hour show. I, I can't believe I'm seeing this, bro. This is so fucking crazy. Well,. All all I got to say now is just, I want everybody to do well. I want everybody fed to go well. Because I said this a lot, 2020 is the year of the E-Feds. And we're going to make it that year. Some people just can't take criticism sometimes. Criticism is the best thing ever for your show. If you can't take criticism, why the fuck you here? If you you got to know that like criticism helps with your product. Criticism helps build your show to be better. I gave my criticism and then they took it another way. But I'm not talking about that. What I'm trying to say is that, like, you need to learn more things. You need to step out of your comfort zone and explore the next step to your show. E-Feds are the best things that ever happened since sliced bread because you get to see people, you get to talk to people, you get to interact with people, you get to showcase your stuff, your, your storylines and shit. I just want everybody to know everybody could do better. You could do better. I could do better. We got to work with what we got. Work with the limitations. Work with the um, just stuff, my guy. 
We got to do this. Like, like this is not just a hobby. It's something for fun. Like, this is a hobby and all. But we need to know that, like, this hobby can turn to a job at times. Or turn to a chore. And that's going to drag you down. I don't want... Like, I felt that before. I felt like... Like, my Ife was a chore. And I hated it. And I have no... And I have nothing to do with it. And then I have to come back to that joint because I miss it. Now I'm making this my hobby. Same with game development, all that stuff. You know. That's all it is. So I want to also say that like I got a lot of criticisms towards some feds I watch. I already talked about Fire Pro Online. I don't know if I should talk about WCC because reasons. Like they like their show is cool and all. The production is fucking nice. Everything runs well. Commentating, commentating is all is is all right. But the quality of matches can be better. Can be a lot better. CWF, same thing. Like they got good productions, good everything, a, a stacked roster and shit. But the roster just nothing but those critical club people. Thing is, is that I feel like Critical Club is a cool thing, but it's just a concept that f- kind of got tribal. Because it's like if you ain't doing this with your edits, then you're wrong and all that shit. Instead of people just being themselves and shit, you know, if, if like, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it, it's just like the fact that Critical Club and and all the other fan bases of the wrestling e fed and community, they always wanted to be this way and not like the other way. Like like if you, like if you do this, you're doing it wrong. If you're not doing if you're doing this and this and this and this, you're doing it right. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Everybody got points. Everybody got um. Even though I even though I really care about the um skill points, everybody got point system and shit. One eighty or two or two or five or some shit like that. I get it because you can be overpowered as hell. But you need to teach them properly. You can't just give them a fucking guide to follow and they get lost all of a sudden. You need to learn things like not just by yourself, but learn things by others. <laughs> you know, speaking of all this, why does all the fucking calls and all the fucking calls and and, and wrestler and fire pro wrestlers just look exactly the fucking have how do I explain this? They always so fucking OP for no fucking reason. Because, like, I'm still befuzzled by one match that I saw live in the Fire Pro show, and you see a whole different side, and you feel like, damn, you were set the fuck up. I don't know, man. It's just it's just a fact that like <sighs> if you guys want me to talk about alcohol, I, I might talk about it, but it's like a match, right? Imagine imagine a, a fucking wrestling match, right? A fire pro wrestling match. You know how you know how it goes. You know, back and forth on that shit. This match wasn't back and forth. It was straight one sided like a motherfucker. All it takes is spam, 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 and all that shit. It's just fucking like, God damn, this motherfucker got killed. 
And then people treat criticals like knockouts and not injuries. I could see why, but at the same time, I'm like, okay. Hey, okay. <laughs> Some fucking weird shit. Have you guys noticed that that there's so many fans, but not a lot of wrestlers? Well, people who want to play wrestlers. And the people who do want to play wrestlers, they are the um, equivalent of a fucking... What? <laughs> Some people is just not too, people. People is not original anymore. Like people is really not original. They're not original. And I don't know why you're not original because being original is better. But but you take influence from fucking another gimmick and you want to make it yours. Like I don't know a fucking powerhouse of like a like a Hulk Hogan type character and you want to be like Hulk Hogan you, you got the name similar to Hulk Hogan and now you're this shit what the fuck like I some I be a, I'll admit this I have done some shit like that but at the same time most of my stuff is 100% original I think unless I didn't know there was another person who's like that <laughs> well it's a lot of things, it's a lot of things on my mind right now. From people not being original, from feds like being dickheads, from fucking um quality of fire pro matches being meh. It all goes downhill from there. If you want to check out the video about the main event and how I feel about it, it's in the description below. Hopefully I get it by then. Because that joint, oh my god, I was like, what in the name of fuck was this? For those who, those who haven't seen it, I'll give you a little preview. The match was fucking wild. I, I do not like that match. I did not like it at all. Too much potential wasted. But hey, it's PvP, so it's like, what, so it's like, what do you expect from it? Okay, that was my little preview of it. Yes, I was talking in my preview just to give you a preview of, of the how I feel about that shit. But all in all, what I'm about to do now is that like I might work on a show or work on the game or do some live streaming or some shit. But either way, I'm going to do something and do something productive with my time. Or just upload some random ass matches and shit. I thought, I thought about that. But same time, I'm like, what's next with me? I did everything I could, did everything I wanted to do. What the fuck, bar? But yeah. Sorry, I, I'm doing too many things at once. So if I so um. I'm about to go. I'm about to just chill, work on a game or work on some shows or some shit. And I'm about to just do my thing, B. So for all those who watch this, listen to this, talk shit about me or whatever shit, thank you for being here. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. This might be a, a triple upload today. I have no fucking clue. Ciao.